Good evening! Hello, everyone! And here we are! We're live! We're live with Saycross or Cycross or whatever this game is called. Speaking of other logos that are hard to read, was it was it Rygar that had a weird logo that was hard to read? I don't know. So, or Section Z? Or maybe it's just all these games have weird logos. Anyway, hi folks, how you doing? Happy Wednesday! It is it is Wednesday, and we're back here with another NES game. Are there really ten people in the chat already? Wow! Hi everyone. Hello John. Hello DOA Hitman. Sean Robinson. Eugene draws near. Yes, an 8-bit Gravity Falls theme. We just finished watching the series tonight, so I've definitely got it on the mind. Um, it's a shame that there aren't that many Gravity Falls games. I found one for the 3DS, which I think has okay reviews, but I guess otherwise we don't really see too many of them. Can you guys uh, hear me okay? See me? Everything is good, I think. I'm not sure why the chat's not showing up, so I'm going to mess with that one more time and see if I can fix that. My computer is running slow yet again. I'm gonna have to deal with that at some point. Okay, one second here. So I'm just using my phone to catch up on the chat this time around. Where's the thing? Where's the thing? Oh, wait, here it comes. Oof, there it goes. I didn't even have to do anything. I did try resetting it uh, before, the, before I started, but um, it took a minute to show up, so that's good. Okay. Uh, who else? Wes. Hi, Wes. Working on Perlers. Very cool. Hi, Disney Dame. I sent you a friend code, or, you know, I tried to friend you on Animal Crossing. I'm not sure why we weren't already friends on Animal Crossing, but hopefully we will be now. I'm not sure if I can send you KK albums unless we have actually, like, visited each other's islands first. So we'll figure that out, but... It's gonna be a bunch of albums, and I'll have to. It'll take me a while to like buy them all and send them, but we'll figure it out. Hey, Jim and Michael, hi. Very 80s logo. Yeah. Uh, where's my wrench? Do I like handheld devices like the Game Boy Advance? Absolutely. I love the. I love Game Boy games in general. I love playing them in the actual handheld format. Um, Game Boy Advance is actually my preferred form factor for the Game Boy. Um, it's just a little more comfortable. I like the buttons more. Um, failing that, the original Game Boy, but that doesn't play all the games. Um, and like, I, I picked up a, a DS recently, like the DS Fat, I guess they called it, the original DS, and that's that's not bad. That's pretty comfortable too. Um, but again, that only plays, I guess, GBA and DS games. But uh, yes, in short, I do like the GBA quite a bit. I um, I did my own screen mod for the GBA to get one of the um, the AGS 101 screens into it, so I have a brighter screen on it, which is pretty nice. Any more networking going on in the chat? <laughs> um, we'll see. We just got we just got started. We just got started. Um, hey Eduardo, you love this game? I I'm a little bit skeptical of this game. Hold on, let me get the, uh, the audio up here. So, does the game audio sound okay to you? Is it too loud? Um, compared to the sound of my voice? Let me know. Let me know if I need to make any adjustments. Before I get started, I do want to read the, uh, the backstory for this game. Because I read the... Thank you, Jim. I read the uh, manual today. And it's kind, of, it's kind of out there. So, let me just... Somebody put a lot of work into this. To uh, I feel like they might have tried a little too hard to make it to make a backstory for this game because as far as I can tell you're like racing in this bike <laughs> so uh, here we go I'm gonna read this the Saycross story Saycross story I don't know how to pronounce that here on the planet Kolar live two different tribes one was the Petrus a highly civilized tribe. Another was the Bar Basra, a vicious tribe. The larger Basra all of a sudden declared war on the Petras. The Petras were very civilized and were pacifists who did not possess enough arms and weapons to protect themselves against the Basra's attack. They were quickly driven underground without much resistance. A handful of the Petras were left, and a few ex-captives who barely escaped from the Basra were waiting to be rescued. Finally, the Petras developed a mini-sized rescue bike, which they called Gilgit Petras. They blasted off on Gilgit Petrus from their secret hideout to rescue the Petrus who still remained behind. No one gets left behind. 
Race your bike along thrilling backgrounds as you battle alien enemies. The serenity of the space city is broken as players blast off into space from the gate in order to save their people who are left in the battlefield. So, okay. So they don't have arms and weapons to protect themselves, but they're able to build these um, advanced bikes, I guess, in a cave, like Iron Man. So, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. I don't know where that story came from. The music could be a touch lower. Okay, let me, uh, let me make that adjustment. Thank you, Wes. Hopefully, uh, it's, you just don't like the music. I, I know, I know, I know what you mean. Okay, game audio a little bit loud. Okay, only a little bit, cool. All right, let me know if that's better. I, I made a slight adjustment to it. It's really hard to gauge, even just looking at it, it's, it's hard to gauge, but uh, hopefully it's better now. Okay, so, how's the bumper card ride? Hey, Emperox. I haven't started it yet. I was reading the story. I was reading the story of Cycross. I'm gonna call it Cycross. Thanks, Michael. All right, let me see if I can set this phone up over here so I can see the chat. Get the camera, it's not really working. Oh, okay, I need a little like, base for this or something. I almost timed someone out for some reason. Okay, that's not working. I'm gonna just leave it like this. I'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah, so inter interestingly enough, the chat is showing up on my computer faster than it is on my phone. Would have never got that story out of the gameplay. <laughs> Wait, where'd your wrench at? Oh, you were serious about the wrench. Uh, I thought you were talking about trying to fix the uh, thing. I don't know. Were you, did, did you have a wrench before? Or you're asking for a wrench now? I probably can't do that. Um, can I do that from here? Add moderator. All right. You should have a wrench now. Don't abuse it. Okay. Let's get started. It's like seven minutes after. Let's uh, let's get started here. Um, it seems pretty straightforward. I think you move up and down, like so. You move left and right. Oh, okay. You can hit bikes from behind. You can shoot things. You can crash into things. Okay, we're off to a fantastic start here. I guess you can't jump over things. So you can just... Yeah, it is bumper cars. Have you played this before in Prox? I'm not sure how to... Or you were looking at the... Um, ugh. You're looking at the um, attract screen, I guess. Yeah, this is, uh, this is quite a thing. And I think, yeah, the A and the B button both shoot. I think, am I just surviving? Oh, but I have to also collect, get, like, energy. Po oh, I have to rescue the... Those are Petras who have been left behind. The, those walking folks just standing around so you need to rescue them and I believe oh I need that oh shoot okay I believe that you you like they add weight to your bike so I'm almost out of energy I'm, I'm doomed and I'm dead when you're when you run out of energy you explode apparently and then it's a the game over uh, okay wrench hype Oh, when you did your tribute stream, you had it. I don't know. YouTube's been acting all sorts of weird. Weird, weird, weird. Lately. All right. I don't want to minimize this so much that I can't see that my mic is active. Okay. Um, most certainly you have not. <laughs> there's a combination of bump and jump and gradius, except there's no jumping, as far as I can tell. C-cross, C-cross. I don't know, Cabot. Hey, Cabot. Somebody find out and let me know. Hey, Chum Nasty. Hey, Thoughtless. It's true, I explode every time I run out of energy. I must explode, like, several times a day. Um, yeah, it's rough. It's rough. Um, I wish I could mount... Uh, is that gonna work? Okay, that sort of works. I can't really read that very well, though. Never mind, I'm just gonna hold this. Like, right here. Not enough energy to drive, but plenty left for an explosion. Yeah, every time I see a, a vehicle explode, I think of Smallville. I don't know if you ever watched uh, the show, but it seems like every week something was exploding. Some vehicle was exploding. I think the the um, the Kents must have lost like so many pickup trucks that exploded. I don't know how they explain that to their insurance company. All right, let's see. How do we do this? So I'm gonna I'm, okay. Oh, I need that. I need that guy. Is that really a safe place to hang out, by the way? And what do I do with those disc things? I don't know if I can do anything with those, because I can't jump. Alright, 
I need to rescue folks. Oh, okay, that didn't work. I'm assuming that this is... that you can memorize how to get through here. Right, so I go down here, and I get this, and then there's like another person ahead somewhere. You. Oops, I can't get you. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh... So this is an arcade game, I believe. I don't know what I do with... How do I... Hmm. This isn't, like, randomly generated, is it? Wow, look at those bones. That's kind of cool. Oh, I was in the wrong place to catch. Okay, sorry. I guess someone will save you. Oh no, I need power. You know, it would be nice if that flashed a little sooner. That you were running out of power. Yeah. It is... Let's see here. If this is bumper cars, someone's got to tell the Petrus that it's dangerous to just stand on the floor like that. Exactly. It is say cross, say cross. Okay, have you played this, Thoughtless? Hey, Captain Algebra. Everyone, congratulate Captain Algebra, my favorite uh, math teaching live streamer, for hitting 1,000 subs on his channel. Long overdue, well earned, and uh, here's to the next thousand. <laughs> no wonder they get left behind. It's an arcade game originally known as Sector Zone. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about that. We played Section Z, Z last week, and this week we're kind of playing Sector Z. Or Sector Z, if you will. So why they change it to say cross is not clear. Yeah, especially since they lose all the name cache of, of Sector Zone, or maybe they were trying to trick people into playing it. This was on the Atari 2600. Are the radioactive access port covers how you power up? Yes, I believe that that is the universal sign for danger or or energy. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're if you're not one of those one thousand people who are sub to Captain Algebra, why don't you go fix that? Um, someone should drop the link to Captain Algebra's channel here. Um, he won't play cutesy Zelda games, but he the rest of his the stuff that he plays is is very excellent. <laughs> Did you give your students extra credit for subbing? That's a good idea. That is an excellent idea. It should be part of their um, their virtual education. One point twenty one gigawatts. All right, let's try this again. I don't I don't know if we're gonna get out of this first stage here. So Wes um, said that this was part. Of, well, I don't want to say anything about that. It seems like Wes might like this game. So, I don't want to spoil anything, but, uh, oh, jeez. But I don't know how far I'm going to get in it tonight. If we don't, I think there's like four areas, and, because I also, I too read the Wikipedia page. I think there are four areas, and then it starts looping to get a high score. So that's about when I'm going to lose interest, I think. If there's no definitive ending to this game. Then I am not too interested. What do I do with those discs? I did read the manual, but I don't remember. So I think I'm just going to try to save as many people as I can and like get to the end here and collect the energy. And, uh, yeah, sorry I missed you. I guess you can just bump into things. I don't know how they kill you exactly. I suppose if they're moving at high speed. I also wasn't clear from the manual whether or not this was an auto-scrolling game. But clearly it is. I just wasn't really clear on it. Nice. I'm really nervous about this energy. Oh, you can't destroy those things. Okay. You have to hit them from the top. They look kind of like... Weirdly, they look kind of like what I envisioned the... Um, like the Quantum Institute from from my books. <laughs> from Fair Coin and from Quantum Coin look like uh, with like a giant rotating disc that's sort of like a quarter <laughs> so I, I swear I did not play this game before I wrote those books um, just a coincidence oops <sighs> do I have to restart from the beginning every time or is there like a checkpoint it looks like there's a checkpoint why is that guy in the middle of that machine okay hold on I'm gonna catch up with the chat in a second here Uh, 
I mean, it's kind of interesting. It's kind of an interesting, like, it looks... Ugh. Wow. Like, the actual stage it reminds me of, like, Tron a little bit, you know? Um... Let's see here. Okay, good. Captain Algebra put his link in here, because YouTube won't let us link to people's channels anymore. Oh, you play all the cute Zelda games. Just Oh, no! Wind Waker just isn't cute. Oh, Captain Algebra. All right, unsubscribe. 999 subscribers. <laughs> Thank you, DOA, for posting that. This week in remote learning, how to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> if my channel gets 31 likes and then it gets 10 dislikes... No. <laughs> I don't know how to make a word problem out of that. I, I I actually really like do not like word problems or or in general math. How many decimal places of pi do you have to memorize for the extra credit? Are the other writers grays or just have bad taste in cycling outfits? Um, that's a good question. I think they're probably maybe they're grays in really bad cycling outfits that look the same as their skin. Just a score chaser. Hey Celestial Light, am I streaming? Um, yes, <laughs> I hope, I hope I'm streaming. Is this pre-recorded? Am I anticipating your questions and answering to them in some eerie, uncanny way? And Capitania, eight slices of pie is never a waste of time. Getting bumped from a certain direction, maybe? Looks like the energy drops when you get bumped sometimes. Yeah, probably. Let me try Contra 3, no death run. Cool, cool. All right. Wait, are you down from 1,000? Hey, Solid Nate. <laughs> I don't know why I deserved a frickin' there, but I'll take it. How are you doing, sir? Hope everyone is doing well tonight. I'm, I'm very sorry about this game. If it, if it doesn't improve from here, if I don't improve from here, I'm very sorry. Don't stand between me and the Petras. Come on, man. How do I kill those things? All right, I might need to glance at the menu, the, the manual again, just to see like what I'm supposed to be doing with these uh, disc things. Shoot. All right, what's that bite counter? It went from oh, that's the number of lives. Okay, that makes sense. Because it just went down when I died. That makes sense. All right. The, I'll say this: the controls are, are decent enough. Um, you know, it's pretty smooth. I don't know what I thought this game was. I, I thought maybe... Whoa, what is that thing? I thought maybe it was like an isometric thing, but I might have been confusing it with um, Isolated Warrior, maybe? Oh, you can shoot those, and then there's there's aliens inside of them. That's weird. They're just hiding out inside the bones of these gargantuan creatures. Were they, were they consumed by the creatures before they died, and then they, like, you're freeing them? Oops, sorry, sorry. Some of you get left behind, apparently. Not my fault. Well, I guess it was my fault. But you know what? Someone will come after you later. I'm sure there are more bicyclists on their way. I don't know if that thing is if I'm supposed to collect that or not. Alright, the name of the game is To Survive. I don't know if this game has continues. Or, you know. Passwords? Probably not passwords. Oops. See, I see he was in there. Do I have to actually collect all of them before I'm allowed to leave this level? Is that how this works? Oh, man. Does it just keep looping until I collect them all? That's a good question. There's not even any counter of, like, how many there are or how many you've collected. Oops. Hmm. Well. Or am I the Ford of the Ferrari? <laughs> I'm the Petrus Gigit. Gig... Gigit? Giglet? How did they pronounce that? Hey, Jameson. Hmm. You know, I don't know what it is, but sometimes, um, sometimes I lose subscribers too. It's very strange. Like I'll, I'll, I'll look at it, and then suddenly it'll go down. 
Um, I'm not really sure what the what's going on with their algorithms. It could just be them not counting them correctly, or um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Me, I am only halfway to where Captain Al. Why did I do that? To where Captain Algebra is? Not even. I'm like almost. I'm coming up on 500, um, which is pretty astonishing. I'm glad I can't accidentally kill those those folks on the tracks or run them over. You know, it's a little bit strange because there's things coming from behind you and not much attacking from the front, although I bet that changes later on. Okay, I'm gonna need some more energy soon. Maybe I should avoid touching them if they're going to uh, take my energy away. It doesn't seem to be t taking my energy away too much. Uh oh. He says as he runs out of energy. Oh, I ran out just before I touched it. Crap. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll play this for a little while. We'll see. I don't know if there's anything else. I wish I could shoot behind me. I wish I could collect that star. I don't know what it does. I might check the manual in a second. And do these things, like, respawn, I guess? Because I can't, like, ever kill all of the other bicyclists, right? Oops. They really do look like greys. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, man, I'm, I'm falling behind on the chat here. Okay. Hmm. Elote Raid. Hey, Vash. Hug with an Elote scent. Hey, Omega Ace. And Zombie. And Big Boss. And Joaquin. Where are you guys coming from? Wh wh who was just streaming? Just need to get to the end of the stage. If you hold A and start at title screen, you can continue, and the checkpoints are very generous. Okay. But that continue isn't built into the game, right? Okay. Like, it's not... You're not supposed to do that. Three areas that repeat indefinitely. So, hell. Yeah, I think so, Emperox. Hey, Mazin. Wow. Oh, Captain Algebra lost subs already. Some of us, Some of us need to help him out. Go, go sub. Go sub to Captain Algebra. He needs to get back up to a thousand. He just wants to keep celebrating the, the milestone. You know, it's also possible that there are jerks out there who, like, unsubscribe to you just because, you know, they want to see you suffer. I don't know. <laughs> Captain LJN. Hey, Comic Man. You did not get much further in another world. <laughs> There's... I I feel like I must have tried that game once, once upon a time in the past and didn't get very far in it. But uh, it seems like the kind of game that would be a lot of fun if you had the time to really dive into it. Um, Comic Man has also been st streaming lately um, a variety of different games, some modern games and some, some retro games from his backlog. So if you're looking for another kindred spirit to follow, I would suggest you, s you check out the Comic Man. Wait, what? What's what? Why what? Oh, about the, the subs zombie? Yeah. All right, you know what? I'm going to pull up the, menu, the manual again real quick because I have it here because I've read the, uh, the little story. I just want to see what these things are. All right, so it says, unless you destroy an entire battery of enemy shells will be launched off from behind you. You can't destroy ancient obstacles, okay. Be careful not to move around the slippery zone. Yeah, the next level, level is essentially like an ice level, apparently. You get bonus points when you rescue the Petras. Don't touch batteries and whatever that thing is. Hmm. Hmm. Dinosaur fossil. A fossil of a dinosaur that the ancient Petras used to keep as their pet. Sometimes the alien pill pool hides inside it. The red bike is especially tough. Always destroy the dinosaur's fossils. When you destroy the raider buoy, power star comes out. If you pick it up, your energy beam gets powered up. Oh, so that's what the star does. 
If you try to pick up every energy pack, you might go too far and encounter too many obstacles. Okay. Be careful to check the meter level and hatch only as many as necessary. Wow. Okay. It's a really interesting uh, management game. Cool. It's nice to see all of you meeting each other. You are all fine folk. And, uh, and I like seeing people network and become friends and uh, generally just in enjoy and appreciate each other's company. Okay, Neon Falcom. So these are the folks who brought us uh, Legacy of the Wizard, I believe. This is the FCI. Oh, they just didn't work at all. I didn't even recognize what color my bike was. Alright, this is... This is tricky. I'm not sure that there's any incentive. Okay, I got that. Oh, look at that. That does improve my firepower. Okay. Or the range, anyway. For whatever that's worth. Oops, I needed that one. Shoot. Alright, I need to, uh... I need to get good at this. <laughs> uh, almost out of power. Nuts. Yeah, I don't know where the checkpoints are. It feels like I'm just starting over from the beginning every time. Oh, those red bikes are kind of annoying. I don't like them. So those the Petras are really just for um, for bonus. Points, I think. I'm not sure what the point of that is. Legacy of the Wizard? That's one way to get into Hogwarts. <laughs> True enough. That's, I think, one of the major ways to get into Hogwarts, isn't it? <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. I don't like these red ones. I'm going to try to get one of the stars again. So yeah, these bikes aren't hurting me. It's just they kind of send me careening into um, obstacles, which is not good. So I just need to get to the end of the stage, Wes says. I should have gotten an energy tank there. Oops, that's probably my last opportunity to get an energy tank. Oh, here's one. Oof, that was close. So yeah, because those Petras make you heavier. to give you an item that lets you fire behind you. Oh, hold on. I can just hold that down. Okay. Auto fire's nice. Whoops. You can only do auto fire when you get that star, though. Interesting. Alright, so I need to get another stove star. Okay. Soonest. Oh, so those guys can explode on obstacles too. You know, it might just. The checkpoint. The door might be starting later in the level. Regardless of where I died. Oh dear. Oh no. Wait. Oh, you can ride over those. Okay. I thought I had to dodge. I had, thought I had to dodge through them. It's just some kind of weird moss on the stage. Hey, we made it. Stop. Okay. I saved five five folks. All right. So if I hold down A at the start menu, title menu, then I'll move on. Oh, you just keep going. Wow. That, I wasn't ready for that. Okay. What is this? Why is it so slow? Is this a bonus stage? No. This is an actual level, isn't it? Whoops. And I'm dead. Alright, so if I hit A, 
I'm gonna try it. I don't know if that did anything. Yep, yeah, okay. That's that's the second stage then, okay. Hmm. Who needs a hug here? Hovering around 400 for about a month now. You'll get there, Omega Ace. You just... I feel like you really only just got started recently, but... I thought you were giving me advice, Omega, for, for the bike. As long as you go up faster than you go down, you'll be fine. That's not for me. Is subscriber count just bragging rights, or do you get something? <laughs> um, I think it's just bragging rights, unless you, you're you monetized. And then, and then I think all the views translate into money, somehow. Should be working on videos. Playing games is more fun right now. Yep, I've got stuff I need to be working on, too. But I've got a little bit of time. Oh, at 1K and 4K hours of view time, you get you gain several features. At 1,000 subs, you can monetize your videos. Oh, really? So that I didn't realize that that was the cap for that. Huh, okay. Bragging rights. But, I mean, I'm not going to monetize, so, you know, whatever. Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I've just been thinking about it lately because I know, you know, folks on Twitch. I've just been noticing, like, I follow people on Twitch. Like, I watch streams on Twitch. And, but I don't think that people from Twitch watch people on YouTube that often. Um, but I don't find the Twitch chats as enjoyable as the YouTube ones. Um, I don't know, Twitch, you know, I think some of the channels are more... Somebody trying to create like a persona or like a gimmick or something. But uh, anyway... Just think, just musing, just musing about it. I was almost going to stream on Twitch this week because I was going to participate in the the um, retro RGB um, speedrun thing for Ninja Gaiden, and uh, I had to drop out of it because ooh, hello, oh, and then I'm dead um, because I have a, a writing project that's going to be due this weekend, so I'm not going to have time to practice Ninja Gaiden and may not even have time to stream on Sunday. So. But maybe I just didn't want to stream on Twitch. Um, turns out I'm not very good at Ninja Gaiden. I mean, I can beat it, uh, but not very quickly. This is a cool weapon, but I don't. I missed the auto fire. Whoa, darn it! I mean, I guess I'm just gonna use the continue just so we can see like what the next stage is. If we can get to three. Big if. Big if. Yeah, so I think that door just spawns like at the beginning of your the, your next run through, no matter where it happens to be in the level. I thought it was just starting you at the beginning. No one needs a hug. <laughs> Socially distance hug, six feet apart. Sheltering at home. Yeah. Yeah, there are weapon upgrades. I'm just not very good about collecting them. Yeah, I'm, I thought I wasn't sure if it was just me, Captain Algebra. I mean, so the Twitch chats, some of them, are, some of some of the the folks are better than others. Um, but I don't know. It's just got definitely got a different energy and different engagement. I think than than I see on YouTube. You know, part plus plus I think part of the problem is that on on Twitch you can't see comments that were in the chat before you arrived. So you come in and it's like a blank slate. And you're like, you could say something that somebody else has already just said, and um, you know you know, you can't just jump jump into a conversation. You're just starting out and trying to figure out what's what's been what's been going on. I definitely prefer being able to scroll through the YouTube chat and see what has been what has been discussed before before I jump in there. I'm not sure why this is so much slower than the last stage. At least the music changed.
Some of these, uh, something is dying. Or no, it's, it's the sound of my weapon. It sounds like Morse code. And it's kind of annoying. Yeah, that time I actually was trying to send my Morse code. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny if you were um, sending Morse code in your chat. I, I died because I was messing around. Um, if you were sending Morse code in the game while you were talking and then somebody translated that. All sorts of weird sound effects. I could have sworn I just heard a mouse. Well, those look like those plants in Super Mario Brothers 3. Oh, yikes. Can't even shoot those, so what are they even for? Come with me if you want to live. Whoa, dragon thing? Is that a boss or just like a wild enemy? Oh, no, there's a bunch of them. Okay. Wow. Oh, they're dinosaur tanks or dragon tanks? I saw something about that in the manual. Dinosaur tanks, I think. This is a weird game. All right, hold on a second here. Let's catch up here. Mm, a lot of new people to meet. Yep. Did I beat Zelda Wind Waker? No, Eduardo. It's going to take a very long time. We're into uh, session five, I think, this week. We're only playing like two hours or so a week, so it's going to take a really long time. I just did my second dungeon, I guess, or second area. I don't even know what you could call it. I've only been to a couple of islands so far. It's going to take a long time. Just started watching the NES streams. And I'm glad you're here, Jim. Uh, I find it annoying. These guys reminded me of the writers from Star Fox. Will Sesame Street games be part of the Alphanumeric? No, Jim, because I don't own the Sesame Street games. I'm only streaming on the NES Alphanumeric weekly streams, games that I actually own. So, um, I guess if I bought a Sesame Street game before next week, I'd fit into the, into the, um, into the schedule. But... Next week's actually one I'm very excited about, Shadow of the Ninja. So, grinding in Shining Force, but I keep looking at the screen. <laughs> Sounds like the 1942 stage music. Okay, you thought I was sending you Morse code? Well, maybe I was, zombie. Maybe I was. A lot of chat happening tonight, guys. You're trying to distract me from the game. The dino tank. <laughs> Dinosaur tanks are awesome. Yeah. You should buy some pearlers from Wes. I have a couple and they are fantastic. Why do I have to keep either shooting or maneuvering around endless copies of a Joy Division album? I don't know, Disney Dame. It's in it's in the manual. It's it's my it's my calling. No one gets left behind. We have to we have to rescue the the remaining Petras. Yeah, these are all games I own, the, the weekly um, Wednesday streams, so I'm doing them all in alphabetical order. And then I think there's going to be a second loop of games that I've acquired in the back alphabet since I passed them, so there'll be a, there'll be a second run when I'm done. Um, I think I've already got like a dozen games lined up for the second, the second loop. Um, at least that's what I'm going to call it, I think, the second loop. Or it'll be like um, NAS Alphanumeric Plus, or something like that, New Game Plus. Um, and then, you know, then the other streams are usually games that I own, but sometimes I'll stream other stuff, you know. You have one episode left of my Eternal Darkness playthrough. Uh, that's really touching that you're actually watching the, the playthroughs. I, I don't always do that with p streams, even if I'm enjoying them. So I'm, I'm, ho I'm glad that you're enjoying it enough to do that. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Cool. Oh, Firebrand. Very nice. When am I getting back to Luigi's Mansion? You know, we were going to play this weekend. I just didn't get around to it. So it might be, it might be next weekend um, or probably, probably it'll be after that because I think this weekend I have to get some writing done. But yeah, I think we've got one more stream in, in, in that one before we'll be done. Have I timed out when I think I'll be done with both loops of the series? That's a really good question. I'm not, I could 
I could calculate it. We're going to be in the S's for a while. I could probably figure it out. I am at, well, actually, I can sort of figure it out. So we're at 177, the stream. And I have about 300 and I have nearly 400 NES games. But not all of them would be will be streamed um, as part of NES Alphanumeric because some of them I've played before. And some of them are like homebrews and they don't necessarily slot in. But uh, probably... Another year, <laughs> maybe another two years. I don't know. I could figure it out probably, but I'm also constantly getting new games. Like we're slowly getting new games. Um, to that would be that would be added into that queue. So, oh, you watched the Mario Galaxy streams? That's that's touching as well, Captain Algebra. I, I enjoyed playing those, and I know it, I died a lot. I know it took me a lot longer to play through that one than you did. Um, I like putting streams on and like listening to them in the background when I'm like doing other stuff. Where do I keep them? I have these cabinets downstairs, but I've actually, um, I've, I've filled those cabinets and now I'm starting to fill, um, I've got a box, <laughs> shoe box, and I also have like a drawer of a file cabinet filled as well. So that's where they all are. They're, they're pretty condensed. I, I can share a picture if you haven't, if I haven't already. Um, I really want to get some nice shelves for them at some point. Wow, that's harsh. The thing turned into stone, and then it fired a head at me. Wow, that's just like a little death parting, parting gesture. Wait, did I continue from the checkpoint as well? That's kind of cool. Alright, I mean, if you're cheating and using the continue thing anyway, which I'm totally fine with tonight. I'm not sure I'm going to want to play through this game legit. You know, especially if it just continues over and over and over again. Yeah, I only saved three of you guys, sorry. If there was some more more important reason to save you, then, then I would, believe me. Yeah, I missed a lot of text. I'm just, there's a lot of chat happening tonight, which is awesome. You want to know when I should mark my calendar for Wednesdays? I'll, I can kind of do a ballpark figure, I guess. Um, there's It's going to be a while, though for sure. And there's also like a hundred and something episodes in the back catalog if you care to go back and watch some of them. I've kept them all. I've kept them all up there. It's cheating if I'm not feeding it a quarter every three deaths. Yeah. All right, we'll see how we do if we if we end up looping around again or not. See, this stage is much faster. Is this a slippery one? Is this the after this one is this one they start looping? Anyway, one way or another, we will probably not play this for more than an hour, hour and a half, I would think. So, if there's something you want to see me play when we're done with this, start thinking about it. I'm, I'm up for... pretty much NES is, is the easiest thing, because I'm already set up for that. Um, although, I spent some time setting up my Mr. Um, adding more games to it, and uh, I got a, another capture card, which was actually ten dollars. Um, Epos Vox did a review of this ten dollar capture card that is surprisingly good, and it sh demonstrates that the issue that I'm having with my Mister is my uh, regular capture card, the Hopig Rocket PVR Rocket, doesn't like it for some reason. But this other capture card seems to be fine with it. So I'll be using that capture card pretty much exclusively to stream Mr. So there will be a Mr. Variety stream coming in the future. Not too distant future. Now that I've got all the bugs worked out of it. I've got a lot of stuff loaded on there. I want to play some Genesis and Master System games this year. And some Turbo Graphics. I loaded up the entire Neo Geo catalog last night. Finally got that working. And uh, I told Cora about it excitedly. You know, it was like telling her why I came to bed so late. So I was upsetting that thing up. I was like, oh, I've got like 200 something Neo Geo games. She's like, you know, what are we going to do with all those games? And I said, probably play like three or four of them. <laughs> um, there are some interesting looking platformers on that system, which is kind of cool. Um, and I also got the MSX finally working. 
So I can stream Vampire Killer, which is the the alternative version of Castlevania. So let's see here. I'm trying to design my Perler models to have movement. Whoa, zombie! That would be that would be amazing. Like stop motion Perler. That would be so cool. Sorry, I missed that before. That's really cool. Pico asked me what I was going to stream after my Genesis series. I laughed since I'm only on J. Yeah, I'm going to be doing NES for a while. And then then I thought, I actually have given it some thought. I also have a pretty significant uh, backlog of uh, Wii games. So I might do, like, work through the Wii catalog. Um, I'm also starting to build up a, a pretty decent Switch collection. And um, I may start up, like, streams of switch game and games too but those always take so much longer many of them take much longer than than an nes game but uh so i might switch it up that'll be the title of that series switch it up um so you know i've got a bunch of things to stream but uh nes and i definitely want to do some game boy i have not streamed on mr setup yet at all i've, I've had issues with it um and I'm, i've still been configuring it but it's, it's pretty much ready like i can i can go ahead and uh pretty much stream from that sometime you have one of those cards yeah those ten dollar ones i bought an extra one michael because i feel like they're going to go up in price i saw epos vox um i saw his video and i saw people talking about it on twitter and i know you can buy it for a little bit more on amazon i just got it on ebay and it was like eleven dollars like free shipping from china got an extra one just as, just as a backup or i might be able to use it in like another computer setup and Master System, yeah, definitely. I want to play more Master System. Yes, the entire Neo Geo catalog. Well, like 200-something games. Vampire Killer will be a first for her community. I don't know that... I don't think I'm going to finish Vampire Killer. That's a hard game. You did hear Vampire and Killer. Hasn't, uh, hasn't any... No, I guess nobody in our in our group has, has streamed Vampire Killer yet, huh? I should do that one soon sometime, and uh, and we'll uh, we'll set that up. I heard of the Switch Pro. I've heard rumors of a Switch Pro. I don't know if that's a real thing, though. Hey, Camp Survivor. Yeah, $12. $12 capture card. If anyone's interested, let me know. I'll, I'll hook you up. I'll send you the link to it. Uh, like, the fact that it's it does something that my, you know, I got this capture card used for $60, but it sells, you know, um, new for 120 or so, and, and this $10 card does stuff that this one can't and, and things that it can like everything it can do and more if, if it lets me stream on my mister yeah my mister was having an issue where um it wasn't recognizing the capture card wasn't recognizing that i was streaming at 1080p and the in fact it just wasn't recognizing the stream at all like the footage at all um the, that there was a video feed coming in so the only way i could get it to, whoa a sword what was that sword so the only way i could get it to um, recognize the video was to change the resolution to some really funky resolution like 1360 by 780 some like weird resolution that I didn't like having to do it on because um, it changed the um, aspect ratio in a bunch of different ways is that the end of this one two three is it about to loop Have we I mean I wouldn't I don't want to sort of count this as beating the game no there's still there's still more new games it's new right I just died um, but yeah, so this new capture card, uh, capture device, really, it's just a dongle. Um, oh, that killed me. Okay, don't go through there. It recognizes it fine. It recognizes 1080p fine. And the other thing is I'm not running it through my receiver, because my receiver was also having issue with the mister, so the, I sometimes wouldn't recognize the audio, which was annoying, unless I, like, reset it or unplugged the HDMI cable and plugged it back in again. So there were all these things that were really annoying about playing on the mister that I didn't want to... to and if I was going to stream with that weird resolution and with these audio problems, I, would have to, I wouldn't be able to just jump around and play a variety stream. I'd have to just say I'm going to play this one game and maybe try to load something else, but probably just the one game. And now I have it set up that I can just jump around and play play all sorts of things. So, hardest game in the series, Vampire Killer. Um, yeah, the hitbox is really terrible. I played enough of it to know that, like, the hitboxes are really, um, are really bad. Like, you can whip something and it won't take any damage. And that includes, like, the candles. Like, I'll have to... I'll have to whip at the candles like two or three times before it'll register, which is weird. And it hides stuff all throughout the level. It's got some like adventure RPG Metroidvania elements to it. 
which is kind of interesting. It's an interesting looking game though, definitely. Uh, oh, homebrew the Holy Relics is like an improved vampire killer. That's interesting. I've played a little bit of Holy Relics, but I didn't I didn't quite pick up on that. But I guess that makes sense because you have to find you have to find things in the game. Yeah, you were born for this. I had to buy an HDMI splitter to fix funky audio issues that my capture card didn't like about the Mister and my GBA consoleizer. So that's interesting because I. Um, I got an HDMI splitter, and I thought I had the same thought. Um, I got an HDMI splitter, and I th I didn't test that with the audio though. I was hoping that the capture card would, just, would recognize the video. It still was having issues with the video, but it might have fixed the audio problem now that now that you mention it. But instead, I have this. I'm using the splitter because the capture card, the $10 capture card that I got, or the $11 capture card that I got, doesn't have pass through, so I have to split the signal. So I'm using the splitter for that, and then I'll also possibly use it for like the PS3 if I want to stream that. So, yeah. So there. So it is using DVI plus. I saw um, Bob from Retro RGB tweeting about that like yesterday, and I was gonna. I was gonna wonder. I wondered if that was the problem. He was sharing um, information about how you can modify your capture card um, or get another kind of pass through HDMI device that would possibly fix the problem so if you haven't seen that yet it was on retro rgb like yesterday and he tweeted about it recently so that might solve your problem you can either fix it or you can buy this other thing that might fix it and i was thinking it was the dvi thing but i don't know enough about it and nobody else seemed to be having that issue i asked on the discord and nobody nobody knew what i was talking about vampire killer's final drag form is different from the nes castlevania 2 i don't so you've gotten up to that that's impressive. That's that's a tough game. I'll have to make sure that I can save games in Vampire Killer. No, you can't save games in Vampire Killer. So Vampire Killer also only has three lives and no continues. You and if you wanted to if you wanted to uh, beat the game, you had to get this other device like the Konami game cheater cheater or whatever they called it, and you plug that in, and then you plug the cartridge in, and it lets you choose the number of lives and select stage select. So you kind of needed this other device in order to actually like beat the game. It would be like if Nintendo sold, um, if Rare sold a Game Genie with Battletoads and told you you needed to play, you needed the Game Genie to beat the game. You know, it's a bad example, but you know what I mean. Yikes! Oof. So is this actually the last stage of this game? So that one gives you um, auto fire. The other one doesn't do that. I think I want to stay up here. Oh, wow. What are these things. Oh, that was a different power up. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, you're right. The checkpoints are very generous, Wes. Very generous. Have to read up on it more. Any thoughts? Hey, Richard. Is it Richard Thames? Any thoughts on networked NES homebrew possibilities? I don't know much about it, but I know people are working on it right now, and it's actually happening. There's, um, I think Solgus was working on a game called Unicorn that would use it, and I think they've been using it for Super Tilt Brothers. Um, and I think Kevin Hanley... Kahan Games is working on a networked game as well. Or maybe that is Unicorn. Yeah. But so many continues on Castlevania. Yeah, the original one. I remember when I got up to Dracula, I just I kept playing for like an hour and a half because I knew I'd never get up back up to him again the first time I played it. Never you only made it to stage three. Okay. Interesting. Rainbow board? Okay, yeah, Kevin Hanley's doing Unicorn. Progressing quickly. Yeah, he's he's been he's been knocking him out lately. Oh, that's bad. I need to not go through there. Can I shoot these things on the bottom? Looks like a cherry cake. Oh there we go. Okay.
Hmm. I haven't tried the new battle tits yet. I meant to. I just well, I've been messing with my mess Mister instead this week, so I haven't, I haven't played played that yet. The new one. I've heard good things about it though, or mixed things, but mostly good things I think. I'm honestly not sure how I feel about networked NES games. Um, it's kind of neat to see the technology, um, see them push the technology. But, you know, aside from local multiplayer games, like two-player games, one of the things I like about NES games is there's no multiplayer. Um, pretty awesome stuff. Going to be cool to see what comes out. Yeah. Oh, the Rainbow board is a modified MMC3 board with Wi-Fi support. People say the new Battletoads is not good, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm not sure about the like the, the, the art style, but the humor seemed on point for me. It seemed interesting, and hopefully the gameplay is good as well, Joaquin. So, Michael, I think you were on that Twitter thread where somebody was talking about like why you would want to use like the AVS instead of the Mister, right? The the NES core and the FPGA, and uh, you know, one, I, f I found a reason why today because I was like, okay, well, I'm I'm loading all these ROMs on here. I might as well like, load all my NES ROMs on there too, you know, that I usually have on my average drive, just just for the heck of it. Like if I am doing a, a variety stream on the Mister that will open things up, I can just play from that, you know, and not have to worry about it. So I did that, and it turns out that not all, um, the FPGA on the Mister does not support all mappers yet, so there are some games that wouldn't work, like some homebrew games that don't work, so, you know, right there, that's, that's my answer. I need my AVS and my, and or my EverDrive. But, you know, I'm sure it'll get there eventually, but there's still gonna be some outliers, I'm sure. I didn't test, like, you know, everything on there, but I'm not going to, you know, generally I'm going to just play on the, uh, the AVS. Ugh. This actually really isn't that hard. I'm just, you know, if I took the time to memorize it, I'd sh I'm sure I'd be able to get through this at some point. Um, it seems very, very learnable. Nuts. Your nephew loves the new Battletoads. It looks fun. I mean, and and because it's cartoony, I'm sure kids will like it. You dig the new and you dig the new Battletoads too. Cool. They're still working on. It. I'm sure I'll get that figured out quickly. Yeah, you know. I'm not knocking it just because I prefer playing on my AVS. The NES is that outlier system where I actually do generally care about the experience of loading a cartridge and playing on hardware. It's the only system that I really actively collect for, aside from, you know, some cartridge things on, like, N64 and things like that. Um, so, you know, otherwise I could just load up games on a Raspberry Pi and call it a day. Um... Yikes! All right. See, these things really look like stuff that's, that I can't, I couldn't climb through. Oh shoot! Okay. You were referring to Battle Toads. Oh, I still need to give it a try. It's like a Battle Toads animated series. Well, it only had that one episode. Hey, Aldiner. New Battletoads looks so lazy. I love the old version. I was excited for this, but it looks like a crappy Flash game. <laughs> oh, thanks uh, for coming by, Joaquin. Have a good night, and uh, and good luck with your online classes tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to try try New Battletoads. I'm not sure when. If I if my, if my our Xbox were plugged in, I would stream it tonight, but... Uh, I mean, it's plugged in. It's just not it's not plugged into the capture, capture box. I'd have to swap some HDMI cables around to make that happen. Right, we're just going to try to get to get this to loop. And we'll see. Yeah, so I don't know about this game. It's just uh it's it's, it's an arcade game through and through, I guess. Oh, more dino tanks. OK. 
can't hit it very well from here. Oops, okay. Better to be getting it when it's on coming down. Oh shoot. Oh boy, I need more power. I'm not picking you up, dude, because... Wait, is this the end? Oh, wow, okay. So is this where it's gonna loop now? Or is it just keep generating new stages? Is this the beginning? This is the beginning again, isn't it? I think this is the beginning again. So it looks like four stages and then it loops. But it looks like maybe more enemies than before. Maybe I just didn't notice them before. Oh no! Oh! I don't know how you do this without continuing. Let's see here. Complete with, uh... Oh, BFG. Hey, BFG. And his homebrews are getting so impressive too. They they really are. Complete with lazy temple run knockoff instead of the turbo tunnel. Yeah, I don't know if I needed a first person perspective turbo tunnel in my life. We had a good run, lots of great games in the eighties and nineties. Same with Konami. I haven't tried that new Konami game though, that skull skull adventure or whatever it's called. So many of the homebrews out now are intimidating. I feel like I'm so far behind on learning to make games for NES. Oh, you're working on? Uh, are you working on the game? Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to spend some time on NES Maker this month, but I don't think that's going to happen. I've got. A, I've got too many. I've got like a personal project. I still have to work on my son's costume for his uh, Doctor Who photo shoot later this month, or I guess in a couple weeks. And I've got this writing project that came up, so I don't think I'm going to have the time for it after all. But I was also a little bit intimidated because I, I haven't even started like learning how to use the program. But I'll I'll mess around with it. Let me know when you plan streaming when I plan streaming Vampire Killer. Yeah, yeah, I'll um I'll do that. I'll 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 check in with you and we can try to coordinate so that I'm so that you'll be around. Um. Yeah, it might be fun to do a dual stream sometime. If you wanted to be in like the chat or something, since you are the Castlevania expert. Yeah, I can do it, Michael. Thanks. I do want to actually learn 6502 enough to be able to program a game, but I don't know when I'm going to have the time for that. Um, it might just be a dream, but you know, one day. One day. But I'll play around with, uh, I'll play around with the um, NES Maker a little bit and see. I have a couple of ideas for games that I want to do. There's actually a novel that I, I'm thinking about writing that um, I might be able to justify playing NES Maker or using NES Maker as, as part of the research for, for it. Um, so. Alright, so this is looping now. I don't know if we need to keep doing this. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, discuss Omega. I think people. I think I've used Discord in the past to uh, have a dual dual stream. And that went okay. You can give me pointers because I don't know where anything is in that game. Ugh. All right. Do we want to keep doing this or not? Dabbled in 6502 a bit, nothing anywhere near polished enough. I mean, that's where you start out, right? Michael's been, if you're not following Michael, do you guys know each other already? If you're not following Michael already, he was streaming, he has been streaming um, coding for his game. And uh, I can't follow anything, but I still find it fascinating to watch him working out the problems and seeing the game evolve as, as he continues working on it. <laughs> when the best thing your company has developed in the last 20 years is a ROM collection on the Xbox One, 
You need to give up a restructure or something. <laughs> You'd love to be able to justify your 6502 time. Yeah. All right, you know what? I'm going to start over. So I think I've looped, and, uh, and the, the, you know, I, I'm just going to do a run without continuing and see how, how we do. But uh, is there anything you guys want to see, want me to play instead? Or should we just... Is anybody else playing a stream tonight? Oops. But uh, I'm taking requests for... Oh, I should have grabbed that energy. Okay. Like, I think you can get used to this game. You can memorize where everything is. And, uh... Oh, I needed that energy there. I need any more energy? Oh, wait. Get down. Oh, shoot. I thought maybe I could rush to the end. I wasn't quite near the end yet. And the checkpoints are, are nice. Oh, mm, I wanted that. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, I don't think we need to play this anymore tonight. You know, it's funny, I thought about streaming Battletoads, because I could do it, um, you know, if I just swap, swap cables, but I'm usually averse to streaming the same thing everyone else is streaming, if that makes sense. Like, everyone, is, everyone streamed Battletoads in the first couple days that it was out. Hopefully, I'll be getting a new copy of Mall Brawl pretty soon. They said it was shipping. So, maybe we can try another Mall Brawl stream. I mean, I'll test it out first to see if it's working, of course. But, that would be fun. This is kind of a long stage. This is not really that hard. I mean, it, look, so I did I did manage to get through that. Um, so you can get better at this. I don't know if I'm going to try to play through this, like, legitimately, though. Hold on a second here. I'm uh, falling behind. The phone makes it easier to catch up with the chat, though. Yeah, it's been a little while. Sun being born derailed it, trying to get back into it. Like, you know what? Don't, like, I know you want to get back to it. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't rush it. Enjoy it while you can. And there hopefully will be more time later. You know, that's one of the reasons why I took a long time off from writing. Uh, your headset died. Oh, Chumnassi, bye. Thank you so much for hanging out. Have a good night. Test the MSX, maybe Penguin Adventure. Like now? Um, I could try it. I, I need to swap capture cards. I'm not sure what would happen, but I could give it a try. Oh, you know what though? No, because the MSX, I need a keyboard. It's a little bit involved. I need to plug in involved. I need to plug in a keyboard for the MSX. The way that I have it set up, I think there's a way to boot directly into um, the the game selection. But I don't have that set up yet. I did just order a um, a small keyboard, like a, a pocket keyboard, um, with Bluetooth, which should arrive tomorrow, which will also make things like that easier. So that's enough. That's the other thing about MSX. A Penguin Adventure I thought was on the NES as well. I thought that was on the Famicom. Felicia, you'll be streaming the end of Detention tonight. I don't think I even saw the beginning of that one. But so tonight, you mean tomorrow morning when I'm when I'm at work. I will uh, I will check it out if I can. Yes. Uh, yours is supposed to be here tomorrow. Your um, yeah, mine is probably a day or two behind yours. So uh, yeah, Jim. The so the older copy, the first copy that I got of Mall Brawl, the copy that I have now of Mall Brawl, does not work on the AVS. Um, I tried to stream it a couple weeks ago, and it totally failed. But it does work on an original NES. So I filed a ticket, and they're replacing it. And same for, for Michael. Yeah, I'll have, to do, I'll have to do an MSX stream for sure. Oh, that that's detention? <laughs> okay, right. I forgot. It's a school-based school game. Right. Oh, boy. 
Yeah, I thought, how you, how did you talk Felicia into that? <laughs> you guys have such a great stream, by the way. I really, I really enjoy seeing you guys play games, even if I can't always hang out. Um, pro part of the problem is you're playing games that I want to play, <laughs> so I don't want to watch too much. I don't want to watch too much of the Paper Mario stream, because at some point I'm going to play that game. But probably by the time I get to it, I'll have forgotten everything anyway. <laughs> Whoa, I don't know about detention, though. Like, maybe one day. Yeah, this game this game seems alright. It's uh it's kind of harmless. <laughs> if that makes sense. It's per perfectly uh functional. A little hard, I think, when you don't know what you're doing. And not having continues is rough until you memorize the stages, but um, it seems like a pretty straightforward game. It's not having a real ending is kind of a, a downer though. For me. I like having a purpose to a game beyond just collecting a high score. I just didn't play a lot of arcade games growing up, so it's not really something that I'm, I'm that into. Wow, you really can't power that up. It'd be nice if you could like get a shield or something too. Oh, now you have auto power and that. Oh, I need more power. Nice. Okay, this is kind of cool though. There's a limit to how much you can power up your weapon, though. Wow, you can move those things. I don't know what the sword does. I'm also having a hard time, like, actually seeing, like, what I'm... Oh, no, I need more power. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, I was heading for it, too. I'm not sure what will kill you. I guess I guess Wes is I think Wes said that the rule of thumb is if you can hurt it, if your weapon hits it, then then it will kill you if you run into it. I think that makes sense. Oh, does firing make you lose lose power? Now that I think about it? Maybe um maybe firing too much isn't a good strategy. I don't know if that's causing it to run out of power or not. Thanks. I've played worse. I've played worse shooters. And I kind of like the aesthetic of the game. Dino guys. Dino tanks. Oh, shoot. Alright. I think we're done there. Oh, I lost my chat. Where is this? Hold on a second here. Alright. Where are we? Where are we? Stream Smash TV. So I wasn't sure if I was going to stream Smash TV because I've played the NES game a little bit. And I've played the Super NES game. Um, but... I haven't played a lot of the NES game, so I could put that into the uh, into the queue. I also don't know what I'm going to do when I get to short order and explode because I don't have a power pad. So I might try to get a power pad, or I might just save those for the second loop and assume that I'm going to get a power pad before that. I'm just trying to find like a good price for a power pad, and I don't I don't know. You don't like the SNES version of Smash TV, but you like the NES one? That's interesting. Sorry, I know I'm all over the place with the uh, the chat here, just catching up. Played Marlboro on the top loader. Yeah, it worked on my top loader too. Grizer is worth messing around with. <laughs> she keeps Felicia keeps asking to play. She's been very brave. Oh, nightmare. Okay. Hey, Arn Poli, how you doing? Did I beat it? Sort of. I used continues, and I finished the four stages before I started looping over again. So I don't know if I can count that. I could maybe... If I do, I'll just asterisk it, but I'm not sure I'll be coming back to this one. Oh, you have a spare power pad? We shall talk, sir, if, you, uh, if you're willing to part with it. 
Like, I don't have that many games that'll take it, I guess, but I would I would pick them up just to have them. I keep buying Z Zapper games just because the Zapper, you know, is um, it's one of the few consoles you can play those games on. <clears throat> um, all right, so you guys want to play something else? I think, I think I've seen enough of this for one day. Cyclops, I am taking requests. Let me know what you want. What do you want to see? And we shall make it happen. It's 11.15, so I'm good till like midnight maybe, depending on what we're playing. Um, I'm going to load the, the EverDrive in and uh, somebody, somebody throw some, some ideas out for games. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's see, what do we got here? Any homebrews I want more time on? I was, I've was i been playing Lizard. Kind of want to play some more Lizard. But that's a pretty uh, involved... No, actually I turned the music off, Disney Dame, because if I, put, if I leave that screen up and the game has music, then you'll be able to hear the game music. So... <laughs> this cool shooter called Cycross. Have you played this one? Did you finish this one, Arn Poli? So I could play Lizard. Um, what else am I working on? Micro Mages, but I'm like in those last stages. It's just going to take a while to finish the. the um, I'm in the hard mode stages, and I haven't finished it yet. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've been working on Nightmare on Elm Street lately. I could do a run of that. I've still been working on Back to the Future. Um, still need more practice on that one. So I have beaten it, but I use save states to practice it. So I've beaten it with the save states, but I want to be able to beat it um, in a normal run. So I'm not quite there yet. Armadillo. You know what? I actually have been planning to play Armadillo. In fact, here it is. So I'm happy to try that out. I played a little bit of it, actually. Um... This is a very weird game. It's very Super Mario Brothers style. So Billy the Shell and his girlfriend Cheryl, this is a translation of the Famicom game, lived a happy life in Texas, but one day Cheryl was kidnapped by the evil Black Bean Gang. It's up to Billy to save Cheryl and bring her back home safe and sound. Famicom Transformers. Oh, too late, Cabot. Sorry, we're playing Armadillo. <laughs> um, I don't know if I want to finish this, you know, how long it takes to finish this game though. So I, th I think it gets hard later on but I'm happy to give it a try. All right, Famicom Transformers. <laughs> I think I've played like a couple minutes of that game. Did I say hi, Big Boss, by the way? Hi, Big Boss. Oh, that's right, I don't think the save game works because this game, this, is, this game had a weird system in it, so I'd have to use like save states in order to save the game, but that's okay, I could do that. Um. All right, let's give it a try. Let's get started. The controls in this game are a little bit strange. So our hero heads for the gang's hideout. It actually, in some ways, reminds me of uh, Roly, Rolly, the uh, the new homebrew game that just came out. So I saw. I just recently watched a video from the. Um, um, what the heck is that Famicom review show? Fem not Famicom Two. Anyway, they reviewed this game and it was very funny, and so I have that in mind. Oh good, I'm glad Big Boss. I'm sorry. So you have to click past these tiles for some reason. Just no reason. Uh, maybe because if it's a two-player game. Alright, so you jump, you can turn into a ball, and you can hurt things as a ball, and you bounce around. And in that sense, it reminds me of Raleigh. I think it's a really pretty game. It's very slow. You, you jump very slowly. And the um, controls are a little wonky. But that's your attack. You turn into a ball. 
played a few levels of this one. Kiddo randomly grabbed it off the shelf earlier, which is what made me think of it. Oh, there's a timer, so I need to pause it. Um, yeah, I don't own the cartridge of this, but um, I don't think you need to be able to read read it for the most part. It's a very slow. All right, some blocks have dice hidden inside them. Great, that's right. Like, it's very slug, and you can roll down things, but then you go bouncing all over the place. Oh, there's a dice. And the, whole, the longer you hold down the thing, the higher you jump. I'm not sure what that apple does. Nothing, apparently. So it's kind of neat. I mean, this is a late game. It's pretty... It's very pretty. Well, I guess I can go in there. Hold on. Go in there. I don't know if that's the end of the stage. Oh, okay. Shoot. I meant to go up then. Oh, well. But this one never was released in the United States. There's a bar, as you would expect to find in an NES game. Oh, I died. Hey, NES Addict. Thank you for stopping by to show some love. And Retrostar. Hi, Retrostar. Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a... No, no, Homebrew. This is a Famicom game. This looks like something I need. <laughs> How much does this run? Um, I don't know. You'd have, you could buy the Famicom game. I don't think the Famicom game is expensive, actually. Um... This is a translation, this is a ROM hack version of it, but this is one of the reasons why I have an EverDrive, to make it make it easier. I would probably pick up, actually, the Famicom version of this game if I, um, if I like it. I'm actually not sure how much it runs for. Arn Pulley may know. Actually, doesn't this run on some weird thing? It's not a it's not a regular game though, right? Because doesn't it use some f some other kind of saving system, some kind of weird disk system thing? Okay, see, you can't I can't do that very well. All right, I'm gonna try. Oh, okay, that didn't work. It's a very it's a very hectic game. When you got it, it was ten to fifteen dollars. 12 subs away from 500. I do own some Famicom cartridges. I own Magical um, Taruruto-kun, uh, the first and the second games, because those don't run on my EverDrive, although I think they will possibly run on the Mr. Um, and I own JJ, which is the sequel to 3D World Runner, which Wes got me. And I own Super Mario Brothers 3. And I own Battle Kid 1.5, the uh, kind of the remastered version of Battle Kid. And I think that's everything. Although I would not mind some more games. I wanted to get a copy of Sp um, Splatterhouse One Pocket Graffiti at some point. Oops. Well, that didn't help me at all. And, uh, oh, that's right, he's got, a, like, a wall jump, doesn't he? Oh, nuts. I'm not even sure what's in there, but I want it. I want whatever is in that present. Give it to me. See, it's, it the slowdown, I don't know what's going on with the slowdown, but it's, it's a sluggish game. little armadillo dude you can do it yeah. oh no come on because I destroyed that block maybe ah that looks like an item that I want yeah you can sort of wall jump or you can slide on walls oh and it's gone all right fine 
Never mind. We'll move on. Kid Dracula. Yeah, I'd like Kid Dracula as well. Oh, hey, Adam. Yeah, I'm still streaming. You missed Cycross. But now we're playing Armadillo on the Famicom. Yeah, there's a 3D World Runner sequel. It's hard. It's like 3D World Runner, um, the Lost Levels. <laughs> Yeah, I should get a I should get an adapter for my NES as well. I don't have that. The cool thing that I have for my NES though is I have this little um, attachment on the bottom. It's called the um, the Enio EXP, and it's like it plugs into the slot that uh, data slot on the bottom of the NES, and it l lets you do Famicom expansion audio f through the uh, EverDrive. So I can play games like Castlevania 3, um, the Japanese Castlevania 3, and listen to the expanded audio through um, my original front loader NES. If an apple hits you in the head, you'll shrink. Oh, okay, that's right. I did know that, didn't I? Okay. Yeah, this game is just, like, really sluggish. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I think they just didn't quite optimize this. I guess we're just going to go in here. I haven't gotten to Famicom collecting yet. Yeah, no, I definitely have enough NES games. And uh, I didn't want to get into collecting another thing unless I really just want to play those games. And I don't have a lot of the nostalgia for the Famicom cartridges. But uh, are they Castlevania games, Omega Ace? I'm not sure if I've ever been to this stage up here before. There's probably death... No, it's not death down there. Okay. Do I have to go down there? I think so. Okay, we're going down. I like the music in this. See, it's very slow. I don't know what, what's happening. It may just be the enemies that are causing it to slow down. Wow, it's a very short stage. <laughs> okay, engine. <laughs> um... Cool, thanks for coming by, Jay. Eugene Geeks? <laughs> Finding new Famicom stuff I wasn't aware of. So so that, uh, if you're thinking about that Enio XP thing I was telling you about, um, Infinite NES Lives Lives is uh, working on a similar uh, device, which will probably be easier to find because the Enio thing is gone. Like, I bought it three years ago, I think, when I was first getting back into the into the hobby, and I had a hard time getting a hold of it, um, but I paid it, I paid like 20 bucks for it, but I don't think it's for sale anymore, because like one guy was making them all. Do I have a machine that can play Famicom cards, or is this an emulator of some kind? So, so yes, both, both to those things. So the uh, AVS can play Famicom cartridges, but I'm running this game off of an EverDrive, which essentially just allows you to load ROMs into the into the as like a normal video game. So it is technically emulating, but um, for all intents and purposes you're playing the cartridge. But if I had the the Famicom cartridge for this, I could plug that into the AVS and play it as well. Um, I do have Twin Dragons. I beat that game. Um, and I love it. It's fantastic. And if you like Twin Dragons, I also suggest you check down Bass Def, um, which is also by um, Broken. Uh, isn't it? I want to say Broken Sp Studios. Broke Studios. Um, Antoine. And uh, it's very good. I mean, it's very similar to Twin Dragons, so if you like Twin Dragons, I think you will like Bass Def as well. I still haven't finished Bass Stuff, but uh, Twin Dragons is great. I seem to be invincible, perhaps? 
And that was short-lived. Guess I can go down. Oh, what the heck? I'm a kangaroo now? Oh. How do I... Oh, wow. Okay. Sure. Sure. I'm a kangaroo. Can I jump on things as a kangaroo? Nope. I am no longer a kangaroo. Okay. Okay. These are some weird birds. Femca Femidojo, I think, is, is the the the, the um, YouTube channel I was thinking of. Oh, how do I shrink? I need an apple. All right. Some things of this game remind me of SMB3. I'd say a lot of the style of it, for sure. Yeah, the AVS is terrific, uh, Comic Man. If you need, uh, it might be expensive to ship to you, unfortunately. But uh, if you have any questions about about the AVS, let me know. I love it. I use it. I mean, when I'm not busy, I use it basically every day. You know, more than any other system I own, for sure. Kid Dracula and Grizor. Yeah. Getsu Fumaden, YY World 1 and 2, and Devil World. Yeah, those are all games I want to play. Um, it's one of the reasons I got the, the EverDrive, to be able to play some of these Famicom games easily. Yeah, I do have a countdown timer, that's why I paused it. Thank you for the reminder, Emperox. Kiwi Craze, New Zealand Story of Vibe. I haven't played that yet, but I, I know what you're talking about, and I think it does have that similar style, especially when you turn into a kangaroo. Are you Stickman? Yeah, the, the only thing I don't like about it so far is just like it's the, the controls are very sluggish. Be careful, bullets can hurt you when you're rolled up. Oh, that's good to know. I'm sure there's all sorts of secrets I'm missing too. In the before times, I used to visit Seoul's video game alley and Osaka's Super Potato on the regular and drooled over all the Famicom carts, but never had anything to play them out. Yeah, I mean, you can get adapters for the NES as well. Um, unfortunately, some of the rare NES games are also getting expensive on the Famicom. So, like Little Samson, the uh, Japanese game is called Lickle. And that's pretty expensive too. Like I think the NES game is what twelve hundred dollars. Lickles maybe five or six hundred, something like that. I always wanted to go to a Super Potato. Um, let's see. I guess this. And I still want to get an actual Famicom. I still want to get the Twin Famicom at some point. Um, which is an NES, it's a Famicom and a Famicom Disk System built into, into one. Ooh, one up. I'll take it. Oh, those are the apples that shrink you, right? So it seems like strategically, whoops. Strategically, you should not drop into the pit. There was no way to know that that pit would kill me versus any other pit in this game where you don't die. Yes, this is a super cute game, but the sluggishness is, is a problem. Oh, that's not good. Slow slide. Oh, I guess you can break those blocks. Oh, come on now. Alright, you know what? Fine. Oh! Ah, oh, that didn't work. I hope this game has continues. Oh great, now I'm tiny. Well, 
What the? What? A Martian? Hi! Need a ride? Take my UFO. It's parked outside? <laughs> what? Uh... Oops, that didn't work so well. Tried getting an analog NT Mini, it sold out in like two minutes. AVS is much cheaper, and you know, I think that it's perfectly adequate for what most people want. I actually think that as, as cool as the analog is, uh oh, no, no, oh, nuts. Um, it almost gives too many options, you know, I, oh no, seriously? Continue means you just continue that, that world, you have to replay the levels. I guess they don't take too long. Um, I do, there's something to be said about just like plug and play, you know, at least for me. Just as I sat, found with the the, um, the Mr. and the ret RetroPie, uh, if there's too many options, I'll just configure for days. I did consider getting the um, the NT Mini Noir just in case, <laughs> but I couldn't I couldn't justify that that money, especially when I'm actually already perfectly happy with my AVS and much prefer to support uh, retro USB. Still waiting on that, Jim. On the uh, the NT Mini Noir. It's cool that you got one, Jim. Yeah, that thing's never gonna lose value, too. So in that sense, it's a good investment, I think. Actually, any reason to do this? Some wacky uh, decorations back there. Okay. Oh, I guess it's just a shortcut. See a celestial light. Yeah, I can't believe how much they're selling for either. Like a thousand, right? And you know that people will be selling. You know what? Keep it. Well, it's going to be expensive, but I'm sure people will be selling the um, the original model when they get the the noir if they happen to get both. So shrink me, thank you. Someone up. That's nice. Oh, it's super cute. Oh wow, another one up. Wow, okay. How do I get in there? Cow. 
It was a very lucrative... Oh, and that thing turned you big again. Huh. Interesting. I can't get in there. That's so small. Okay. Yeah, interesting um, exploration in this game. So you can just like zip through the stages if you want to, or you know you can explore some more. So mini is definitely the way to go, huh? <laughs> well, if you can. And begin. Yep. Thank you. Hmm. A violation of eBay in terms of service to list a Pruda more than a month out. Yeah. Um, okay. So we'll come back here. I knew that was going to happen. My kitty is sleeping. It will cuddle later and try to wake me up from bed. <laughs> Why would eBay care about, about anyone? Speaking of eBay, I think I just got a free game off of eBay. So I bought... I tweeted about this. I bought uh, Tom and Jerry on the NES because I'd seen some someone speedrunning it and it looked really, really interesting. And uh, they sent me Donkey Kong by accident, Donkey Kong Classics for, by accident, which I already had. It's a more expensive cartridge, but I already have it. And so I wasn't sure how they were going to handle like the return, the exchange and everything. And uh, they said, you know, send it back to them. They sent me you know, the, sh the shipping label and everything. So I sent it back and they reshipped. They said they would ship it back to me, ship me Tom and Jerry free of charge. Um, and lo, they've, they shipped it and they've reimbursed me. Why, why would you do that? Like, that's awesome, but I'm not sure I understand why, why that's happening because it's not necessary and they've already lost a bunch of money. Oh crap. They already lost a bunch of money because of the shipping things. They had to get the other person to ship the game back to them too. So they could change them. So I'm not sure what to make of that. Um, oh no! Oh. Is that the UFO? Hey Victory Leo, how are you? We are playing, oh shoot, I should take this thing off. We, should we are playing Armadillo. Oh, I should have changed this before. I'm bad at remembering to do that. First time here, Victory Leo? How, haven't I seen you around? Have I only seen your other streams? Well, welcome. Thank you for coming. Everyone give Victory Leo a nice welcome. I must have just seen you in other streams then. Because I definitely know you. What? So anyway, free time and Jerry. That's awesome. I mean, maybe it's like a good customer support thing that they're trying to do, but I'm just some like random person on eBay and I'm, I wasn't that put out by it. Probably not even going to play Tom and Jerry for several months when I when I get up to it in the NES Alpha Numeric. So, 
Oh no, oh nuts, wow. So some of the controls can be very tricky in this. Hey Davey. How did you see Davey? Oh, I didn't see Davey arrive. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, we were playing Cycross and sort of beat it with uh, continues. And uh, the game is very repetitive, so we decided to switch it up and we're playing this is a very interesting Famicom game. How do I keep dying here? I keep dying because of this stupid pit here. See, he's not quite... You don't have quite the precision that you need for a really tough platformer. And the slowdown, it makes it very, very challenging. I'm like, every jump that I make is, is making me nervous. go careening. Whoa, like that? Oh, jeez, come on. You go careening in different directions. This is stage one, may I remind you? It looks like a super cute, easy game. But it's just... I'm not sure. I guess I'll, I guess it's jank. It's just janky enough that uh, it's challenging. I think this is how the game just runs. I, th I remember in the review, they were commenting on the same thing. Oh, shoot. Mm. It is pretty fun. It's just I'm clearly having some trouble here. One of the better Game Boy games. Oh, Kid Dracula. You didn't get to the place in time to purchase Kid Dracula. What place were you getting at that from. Oh no, 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 no. I'm using all my one-ups in here. <laughs> I just want to clear the stage. Yeah, okay, that must be the UFO over there. Let's see what that does. Maybe that lets you skip something. Whoa. Oh, hello. Oh, bullets kill you, okay. That's the boss, so I don't have to clear this last stage here? Can I go back into a stage I've already cleared now? Okay, Let's see, can we beat this guy? Spam the guy. Alright, at least we'll be able to continue from the next stage. Boys, I'm heading for Monument Valley. Take care of that nosy shell for me. Alright, at least we made a stage two then. A level two, a world two, or whatever they're calling it. And theoretically, it'll let me continue from here, yeah? Uh, let's see here. See some SMB3 and Sonic going on here. Yeah, for sure. You know, I I wonder. I I want to ask um, Optimon if he's played this game before because I'm seeing some influence on Rolly. Mmm. Half price bookstore. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Oh man, that sucks. I'm so sorry. That's a bummer. Fantasy Star Collection for GBA. Hmm. Do you guys see that Final Fantasy Legends is coming out for the Switch? Like the, the, the three game collection? For like 20 bucks, that seems like a good price for it. I haven't played any of them, but that seems like it might be a good thing to pick up. Hey Turbo Gamer, how are you doing? Shell is my character's name, yes. Yes, I believe so. Oh boy, okay. Well, it's 11.50. Cool. Well, we're in a new area. With one life. Wow. Yeah, 
if you can find Martian, he may be able to help you. I'm actually not sure if Martian did help me. Oh, see, I'm supposed to jump on that block to get that, that gift. Coffee? Maybe I can get up there from here. Oops. Oh, there's those street lamps. It's kind of cool. What? Uh. Wow. Oh, you can't turn back into the bird? It was a one-time deal? Was I supposed to fly up there? Oh, I was supposed to fly up there. This is kind of an interesting game with all the different things you can you can do. You can just get through the level, or you can just find cool stuff. It's neat. I remember hating FF Legend because of the breakable weapons. I had no tolerance for that when I was young. I don't know if I still have tolerance for that. I forgot about that. I've only heard like them talk about it on Retronauts. It seems like annoying. Like a way to pet out a game, right? Actually, this is good. Cause, oh, shoot. Well, that's not good. I was going to say this is good because I'll have some footage of this game. Um, because I still want to do a review of Rolly. And I think this is going to have to be in it. All right, so it's good that you can continue from the, the world. All right, let's see what, is there something up there? Another present. Is that a one-up? It's an umbrella. An umbrella. I'm not sure what that does. I'm not sure if I'm conveying, if you can pop possibly see just how slow this game is. Like, it just feels like everything is sluggish, and then periodically it'll just speed up and just makes everything feel erratic. Like, when he starts bouncing around like that, the rest of the time he's just moving like he's in mol molasses or something. definitely has like a bit of that sonic feel to it. Let's see, can you actually wall jump? Sort of. Not really very well though. It's not like a ninja get in wall jump. You can't really survive this way. It's really not not good for that. Played all of Breath of the Wild, so I'm sure I can handle it now. Yeah, true. A lotus for everybody. Psycho Fox in the SMS was like this. Oh, interesting. Yeah, what was that game that uh, Running Retro was playing that was before Psycho Fox? Um, kid. Something Kid. I don't remember what the game was. Oh, Kid Cool. Was it Kid Cool? On the same engine? Yeah, thanks, Celestial. Yeah, so I haven't seen Psycho Fox yet. Feels like they tried to implement a little bit of the Sonic the Hedgehog action, but the translation between walking, transition between walking and rolling is too wonky to make that feel good. Yeah. Slow start, then boom, going way too fast. Yeah, sometimes I have that issue with Sonic 2, actually. <laughs> Sonic as well, not Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Yikes! Oh no! See? Oh wait! Oh wait! Oh oh! Uh, the umbrella almost saved me somehow. Sort of. Does it only work if you're falling down like a hole? If 
you can find oh yeah Martian right Actually sure what the coffee does. Disappear before I get up there. Oh, there was a bird in that other stage too, right? And that's probably another way to get up to the secret area. Darn it. You also can't duck, which is weird. The wall sliding also doesn't feel terribly useful since you can't actually climb up the wall, just slide down more slowly. Okay, thanks, Jim. I think I'll pull. I might end the soon pretty soon, but if, uh, if I don't see you again, have a good night. Thank you for coming by. So yeah, I believe this has like a weird save system that um, was, isn't supported. Oh boy. How do I get up there? Nope, that's not gonna work. Oh man. Find six dice in a level, you'll get bonus points. Okay, sure. Can I possibly jump over there from here? No, I probably need that. I bet the bird would let me get over there. See you, Arnpoli. Thank you. Oh, no worries. This is fun. I, I was, I, this was kind of floating around the back of my head as something to, to play, maybe. So, and this has definitely been on my list. So, probably not going to finish it tonight. Definitely not going to finish it tonight, but soon. Hope your, how's your Days of Thunder thing going? Well, I'll talk to you later, I guess. You're heading out. Yeah, I might just uh, save the game soon and just call it a night, folks. I don't have to stay up super late every night. But this bears more another playthrough soon. So hard to control. Oh, nuts. Ah. Well, see ya, Davey. Thank you so much for coming by. It was great to see you. Have a good rest. Yeah, I'm just gonna go this way. Wait, can I go in this house? No, it's not a real house. Okay. Yikes! See? Hmm. Bats. Nintendo bats. It's like an albino bat. I think this was supposed to come out in the US. Um, I think there was a, a an American title screen, like a, an English title screen, and uh, it got canceled at some point. Is that a skunk? I don't know what that is. Um, did I notice the lack of input latency on Mr. 
I... Yeah, it seemed pretty responsive. I mean, it seemed about the same as the AVS. Um, I was actually using a Bluetooth controller on the Mister, and it seemed fine. Um, it's actually... Oh, so one thing that's nice about it, though, is actually a um, huge difference. The So playing Sonic the Hedgehog on... Whoa, I'm green. Whoa, I'm green, and I can walk faster. Hold on. Like, that's much better. Oh, no, don't run out. Don't run out. Superpower. Ugh. Using certain attacks will give me more points. Oh, I lost my green. Darn it. Why? Um, so playing Sonic the Hedgehog on the Mister versus playing it on the Genesis Classic, or Genesis Mini, way different. Much less lag. And then versus playing it on the Switch collection, the Sonic, uh, the Se Sega collection on the Switch, which has extra lag, so when I play that game, I'm playing it on the Mister because it felt it felt what I imagined the actual console to feel like. So absolutely, there's a difference. But uh, I play a lot of NES on the AVS, and the AVS doesn't have any input latency um, beyond you know anything your TV or a controller might introduce. And I'm currently using a 2.4 gigahertz wireless controller from 8BitDo, which does not seem to add any input latency. Wow. <gasps> That that bowl sucked. Okay, I guess I can kill you. What? That thing at me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hope the different core creators implement save state similar to never drive. Yeah, I guess that's like a drawback. I, I don't necessarily mind not having the save states. Um, because then that just forces you to play it, I guess, the way you normally would play it. So that's not such a big deal. Um, but it would make it more appealing, I'm sure, for a lot of people. Like, I can't properly save this game the way you're meant to. See, device not found, so I can't save this the way I'm supposed to um, save it. But, um, you know, I think uh, I'll just do a save state here. So, let's see, is it... Open select? I think so. It down and select. Oh, it's left. And then let me just see if that worked. There we go. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what my shortcuts were for save states. So it's left and select for that. Okay. Alright, I think I'm going to get yeah, the benefit of a pie. Or a never drive. Um all right, I think I'm going to call it there tonight, guys. Uh, this is a cool game. We'll have to come back to it sometime. But it is already getting late, and uh, I definitely am not going to finish this tonight. So I'll try to get to get to bed a little earlier for once. So I believe next week I'll be streaming um, Shadow of the Ninja, which is a very cool game. Um, it was actually the Game Boy port of it was turned into a Ninja Gaiden game. And uh, it's getting up there in price, but I picked it up a, a few years ago for a pretty good price. So that was like high on my list of games that I wanted to play. It's actually a two-player simultaneous uh, ninja game. Uh, so that's uh, next week. And Friday night, I think we're playing more Wind Waker. And I think I probably won't do any other streams um, this weekend just because I do have some other stuff to work on. So that'll probably be it. But I'll see you guys around in other streams. And uh, let's see here. This is adorable. Come back and play, 
come back to this another time. Yeah, I will. Um, we'll probably just give it its own stream at some point. Or I'll continue playing it at some point. It's a shame they never made to me copies of English SNES Tenchi Moyo RPG game. Yeah, yeah. I like the ROM, the romhacks.org. Is it .org or .com? Uh, just has good patches on these things. Thank you, Camp Survivor. I like Armadillo uh, Eduardo. It's a little bit challenging because of the controls, but it's it's very charming. And I think I think at its core, it's a good game, but definitely has some frustrations. But a lot of NES games have frustrating controls. Thank you, Omega Ace. Thoughtless. Fun fact: Ninjas actually cast no shadow. That's a good fact. Thank you. Thanks, Big Boss. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Thoughtless. <laughs> Tenchi Moyo RPG. Oh dear. Yeah, and so, uh, you know, in another week or so, I have to wrap up a project, and then pending deadlines for other stuff, um, I'll work on doing a, a Mr. Stream, um, and, you know, we've got a bunch of games to play. Fun times ahead, fun times. All right, thank you so much, everyone. Have a good night. Take care, okay? Have a good rest of the week. I hope it passes quickly, and uh, be safe out there, okay? Or inside, if you're not going out. All right, take care. Bye.